here with freshman Christina Mays from Independence, not too far from Senatobia. We've started off 4-2 and two on the season, 1-1 one and one at the Southwest Coca-Cola Classic this past weekend. You've started five or six games. Just talk about, you know, how, how comfortable you are playing at Northwest so far. Well, I love it. It's a fast-paced game, and that's something that I'm not used to, but I'm getting very used to it, and I love my teammates. They make me comfortable out there on the floor, and I just, I love it. Uh, you're coming from a 3A high school in Independence, and then you come to a junior college in Northwest. Gym's obviously a lot bigger. Yeah. The teams are probably a lot faster. Uh, just talk about maybe the transition. Do you feel pretty comfortable playing here? Like, how big of a difference is it for you? Um, it's a very big difference because we walk the ball up the floor. Now you have to push the ball constantly. We um, we play zone, but here we we constantly defend full court defense. That's the biggest, I guess, difference. Do you feel like you're well conditioned for our offense? Yes. Well, we started off uh, four and two. You scored 16 points in the first game at Southwest. Scored 17, tied a career high. Uh, you shot 11 of 24 the last two games. You're not afraid to shoot the basketball. You penetrate a good bit. You also, you know, you're very aggressive. Is that just the, the kind of style of basketball that you play? Yes, sir. And it seems like you have no problem getting to the rim at all. No, sir. This is my game. Uh, when you came into the start of the season, did you have any idea that you'd be in the starting lineup, or, or when you found out, how, how soon did you find out you were going to be a starter? Well, it was after the first scrimmage that I realized that I'd be in the starting lineup, and it made me want to work even harder and not settle for this just because I was starting. Well, you were the team's second leading scorer right now at Northwest. You were the second leading scorer for Independence last year, also your second on the team in rebounds. Coming into the year, did you set any goals for yourself? Yes, I wanted to be able to shoot the ball more because in high school I did not shoot at all. And it just made me want to work on my shot more. And I feel like I've been very, like, it's been a success since I've been shooting. Well, you can tell you're getting more and more confident with your shot. Does it matter to you whether you come off the bench or you start? Because the one game you came off the bench, you went 6 of 9 and scored 16 points. Do you have a, are you more comfortable in one role or the other? It doesn't matter. I, I'm just here for to support my teammates if I do come off the bench and just to play my game. Well, talk about the team as a whole because right now, you know, obviously outside our starting five, we could probably go five or six deep on our bench with subs. Like, how, how, how good is that, the fact that we can play ten players uh, throughout the season? It's very good. Like, we all work together. We push each other hard in practice, and I think that has something to do with it. Um, I think we all can score if we put our mind to it. And I just – I think, I think we got it. Well, we're 18, 18 and 7 last year. We started off 4 and 2. Obviously, you weren't part of the team last year, but you know how, how far can this team go? I know it's really early in the season, but uh, just the you know, com comfortability of you guys playing together as a, as a team, uh, how far can this team go, you think? I think we can go far, very far. I think, I think that um, with our chemistry together, that we can go very far. Well, you've been great so far here to start the season. Second on the team in scoring, second in rebounding. Uh, we're 4-2 and two on the year. We get Mid-South at home on Monday, so best of luck and uh, continued uh, success this year. Thank you.